All right, Shalom. I want to start this lesson off by saying, Call Halalim. La Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. Ba Hashem Rakakadash. Double honest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are in his truth and sincerity. And I want to do this lesson on how the Lord. On how the Lord is going to remember us in the time of Jacob's trouble. He's going to remember all, all the works. He's going to remember all, all the um, the works, the righteous works that, that, we, that we've been doing, man. He's going to remember all that in the time of Jacob's trouble. He's not going to forget us. And I'm going to uh, bring out some precepts. I'm going to start off with... Uh, I'm going to start out with... Uh, let me see. I'm going to start out with uh, verse 5. This is Psalm chapter 25 or verse 5. It says, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. So the, the Lord is, is leading us. The scriptures start off by saying, uh, lead me. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who you worship. And uh, the, the Lord the Lord leads us, man, through the Spirit, through, through the Holy Spirit. Which is Havrach uh, Kodash, the Holy Spirit. That's how I say it in Hebrew. The, the Lord is leading us, man. And it says, teach me. And the Holy Spirit teaches us the, the understanding, man. Which which we learned from the, the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. Through the Holy Spirit. That's how we know this truth, man. That the Lord taught us through through um the Holy Spirit through men. And it says, Thou art the power of my salvation, on thee do I wait all the day. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on Yahweh Shai, which means What's the word? I mean, the name Yahweh Shai means he delivered or he's he saved because that's that's what he's coming back to do, man, to save the elect. He's not only coming back to, to destroy. He's, he's coming back to destroy a lot of people, but it's a balance, man. He's not coming back to destroy everybody. He's coming back to save a remnant of his people, which are the elect of the nation of Israel. And then here's the point. Verse six. Remember. O oh, Yahweh, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have for they have been ever of old. So King David was pretty much asking the Lord to, to remember his tender mercies, man. And that's that's what that's what we're we're gonna uh be be, be asking asking Yahweh by Shema Shai in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're gonna be asking him to remember to remember uh, his mercy because it's going to get bad it's going to get ugly man it's already it's already beginning to to get bad but th th these are like what's going on now with this with this uh, whole corona cor coronavirus i really want to say it's a hoax but it's probably a real thing but but esau was just like blowing blowing it out of proportion man but this whole situation, which which is obviously uh, it's, it's obviously uh, leading to martial laws, it's, it's obviously going to lead to to the society being shut down. The society is crumbling. This is just the, the beginning of sorrows, though, man. We 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 ain't even we ain't even ha have got we haven't even uh, we haven't even got to the, to the um, to the bad part yet, man. We haven't even got to the to the ugly part yet. Like it says in Matthew chapter 24, this is just the beginning of sorrows. But uh, going on, it says, Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Yahweh. O Yahweh, by Shemi Shai. So we're going to be asking the Lord to remember us in that day because it's, it's going to be it's going to get ugly in that day, man. It's gonna get ugly.
Like we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna need a higher power in that day, man, because that's how bad it's gonna get. And as a matter of fact, let me get this. Daniel uh, chapter twelve, verse one. It says, "And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people." So it's gonna get so bad that that the archangel Michael, which is which is the the highest, uh, <clears throat> uh Michael. Michael is the highest ranking angel di directly under, under Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is directly under the Most High. So our, uh, the Archangel Michael, he's, he's the highest ranking uh, angel. It's going to get so bad out here that, that Michael is going to have to stand up for the elect, man. The Archangel Michael is going to have to, um, is going to have to, is going to have to uh, pretty much come, come down to this round. To protect the elect, because the the Lord is not gonna the Lord is not gonna forget. He's not he's not gonna forget uh, everything everything that we that we've been doing, man. He's gonna send send us help, like it says in Psalm thirty four and seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to I'm gonna come back to this scripture. I'm gonna come right back to this scripture. This is Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. Oh, I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, This poor man cried, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? So so the angel of the Lord encamps around them that fear Yahweh Bashim al and who are the ones that, that feared Yahweh Hashem Al Shai? The the elect, because Lord willing, I'm I'm of the elect. We're the only ones that, that are fearing that, that have the fear of the Lord. That's why we do what we do. That's why we go out on the highways and by, and byways. That's why we do these lessons. That's why we study the scriptures. That that's why we 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 are uh, we read the scriptures. That's why we pray. Ultimately, that's why we have faith, man, because we fear the Lord. That, that's why that's why that's why we keep going because we fear the Lord. And it says the ones that fear the Lord, the angel of the Lord is, will encamp or, will encamp round about them, which pretty much means to 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 guard. But like like when people in the world say my my guardian angel, that's 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 what the angel of the Lord, that's what the angels of the Lord are to the elect. There are there are guide our guardian angels because they're, they're, Speak, speaking um, from from personal experience, there, there's been a lot of times where I should have died. So lucky. There's been a lot of times where I've came uh, face to face with death, but but I got out of it. And and, and on a sm on a smaller uh, level, there, there's been hella situations that were real bad that that I got out of. So. That that just goes to show you that the angel of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai camps around, camp and camps round about them that fear him, man. The Lord's not a liar. He he said he said uh, he said he, he's gonna uh, he said he, he he's gonna protect us, man. Going back to uh, Daniel chapter twelve, verse one, it says, "And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there and there shall be a time of trouble." Such as never was since there since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that should be everyone that shall be found written in the book so at that time the the elect is going to be delivered it says thy people, but that people was talking about the elect it's not talking about the whole nation of Israel man. That's that's something that these that these uh these other Israelite camps don't teach. That's something these other Israelite camps never talk about the elect. Why is it that the the Great Millstone is the only camp that, that speaks about the elect? Why is that? Because of the Lord is dealing with that with the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. That's why these other camps never talk about the elect. It's all about the elect, man. Like the the whole nation will be saved eventually, but right now, the Lord's only dealing with the elect. 
The Lord is only dealing with the elect. But going going back to the point though, the Lord the Lord is, is not the Lord is not going to forget about us in that day. Matter of fact, let me get this to this uh let me get this other scripture. Uh This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, and verse 10. It says, For the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he has shown toward his name. And that, that shows you how important his name is, man. We, we, we show, um, we, we, we show that, that, that labor of love that work and that labor of love to, toward the name of Yahweh Shai. That, that's why um, that's why we always push the name of Yahweh Shai. That's why we always start off giving all praises to Yahweh Shai. Because it's that, that that name is important, man. Like like it says in the scriptures that there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If you don't have the, the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you, you ain't going to be saved, man. O only the elect is going to be pushing that name because that name is very important. That's the name of, of, the, of the powers that created, that created everything you see, man. But I'm going to read that again. Hebrews chapter 6, verse, verse 10. For the Most High, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister and the saints are the Israelites the saints are the Israelites man uh, but the point of that is that the Lord is not unrighteous to forget those works the works that we're doing man every time that we do these videos every time every time that, that, that we that we go out in the highways and byways and make our bodies a living sacrifice, the Lord's not going to forget any of that. So we really have nothing to worry about. We really have nothing to worry about in that day because the Lord is going to take care of us. The Lord's going to take care of us, man. And I believe that I have faith in that. Well, we all got to have faith that, that the Lord's going to um, get us out of, out of any bad situation. That, that, that comes our way. Um, but I'm, I'm going to read on. Verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. The full, uh, the full assurance of hope unto the end. Because we, we, have, we hope that we endure to the end and be saved. And, and, and by showing diligence, we're making assurance of that hope that's why uh the scripture says matter of fact let me get that next let me let me get that that scripture next um since it said you showed so the same uh diligence to the full assurance of hope I'm gonna get this scripture. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fail. So it says, if you give diligence, if you give uh, diligence, you'll you'll make your calling and election sure. Because we were all we were all uh, called into this truth. We were all called into this truth. So if we give diligence, we're going to make that calling and that election sure. That's, that's what it's all about, man. Uh, let me see. Matter of fact, I just rem uh, I'm, I'm gonna end it off on this the scripture I just thought of.
This is Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse and verse 10. Uh yeah, verse 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh Shimmy Hawashai and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever call that this, that I mean or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So if you look at all the all, all, all our ancient forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all, all the great men in our of our uh, history, all the great men of our nation back in history, if you look at them, they the Lord the Lord never forsook any of them. They all call, called on the Lord, and the Lord delivered them. All of our all of our righteous forefathers, the, the Lord was dealing with them. The Lord the Lord didn't didn't um. The Lord didn't backstab them. The, the, the Lord didn't lie to them. He didn't leave them hanging. The Lord always delivered us, man. All of our righteous forefathers. And so, and the Lord, uh, Mal Malachi, um, uh, what is that? Ma oh, let me see. <laughs> what is that scripture? Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, I think that's Malachi 3 and 6. Yep, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So if the Lord if the Lord was like that back in the ancient world to our righteous forefathers, if the Lord didn't um didn't forsake any of our forefathers, if, if the Lord if the Lord always came through and delivered us in the ancient world, you you, you think he's gonna uh change now? He's exact the, the Lord doesn't change, man, and neither neither does his son Yahushua. They don't, the Lord doesn't change, man. How about Shem outside? Change not. They don't change. So they're going to deliver us just like they did in the ancient world, man. Verse 11, it says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of, in time of affliction. And that's the time that we're coming into, man. We're coming into the time of great affliction. We're coming into the times of great trouble a time like i said in daniel chapter 12 a time that has never been on the planet earth that's what times that we're coming into man but the lord is going to save us because because the the, the the scripture said so man uh verse 12 woe be unto fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go two ways And that means destruction. It says it's destruction onto fear, fearful hearts. That those are the ones that they don't believe. That those are the ones uh, that took their hand from the plow and, and, and went back to the world. That turned their back on the Lord, man. The, 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 those are the ones that are not fit for uh, the kingdom. Verse 13, woe unto them. I mean, woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. So the ones that don't believe that are faint hearted, man, the Lord is not going to deliver you. That's why you got to have faith in him. You, you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. It's, it's all about faith, man. Okay. That's why that's why the Lord is not going to save the ones that don't believe. He's only going to save the ones that believe. Verse 14, it says, woe unto you that have lost patience. What will you do when the Lord shall visit you? So the, the, the ones that lost patience, like I mentioned, the ones that, that stopped doing the work, the ones, that, the ones that, that, that took their hand from the plow and looked back, which the scripture says they're not fit for the kingdom, man, because they looked back and they didn't. That, that means that means that they didn't believe, man. That means that means they didn't believe. That's why the scripture says, what well, wants in them? That means destruction. Um, I'm going to end off on, on verse 16 It says They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well Pleasing unto him And they that love him Shall be filled with the law And so the ones The ones that, that, that 
that the Lord is going to have mercy on him, man. They're going to they're gonna seek, seek him. So, yeah, that's pretty much the point on that. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to end this off by saying, call halalim, la yahawu ba shimi hawa shai ba shimra kakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and shalom to the elect.